For this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a background with multiple people or objects in your photo. Go ahead and left click on the lock to unlock this to be a layer. All you have to do is go up to select right at the top and go down to subject. So once you left click on here, this will then select all of your subjects or objects in this image. Now, once you've got yourself the selection, it's not always going to be perfect, so you will need to do a few little adjustments here and there. So personally, the ones that I would recommend, the highly recommended one is the polygonal lasso tool. So if you right click on the third tool, it will be this middle one right here. And an important thing to do before you start to modify the selection is to make sure that you are selecting the second mode right at the top. It will add on to the selection rather than creating a whole new one. And then once you've got yourself the second one selected, we can hold Alt or Option key and then scroll up to zoom in. All we have to do is simply once again, hold Alt, Option key, and this will swap on over to the minus, as you can see. So once you've swapped on over to the minus, you want to hold Alt, left click once, and then you can let go of Alt and then go all the way around, making sure that you select this area right here. So you just want to go all the way around, making sure you stay on the edges. And once you get to the very last one or the first one, you will see a circle icon pop up. You can either left click on here or you can go ahead and press and hold control, left click, and this will connect it up from there. Now, as you can see, we've created this little area right here and that is what we don't want. So to take it away from this selection, we are going to do the opposite and we're going to add this area right here. So you just left click, go all the way around and connect it all up. Now a cool little trick for this is if you hold H on your keyboard and then left click, this will quickly zoom back out and allow you to have a look around the image. You can go to that area and then let go of both of them. Now, once you've done most of your changes and you're happy with everything, you also want to make sure that if you've got the hair in the picture or the image, you want to make sure that you give a little bit of a gap right about here, as you can see. So the reason for this is because we're going to use a different tool to bring back the hair. So now that you've done that, we can now move on to the next thing, which is of course, to either be selecting the second tool, the third tool, or even the fourth tool if you want to. The reason why we're selecting these tools is because you will see a button called select and mask. So once you see the button, you just want to left click on here, and this is going to bring us to this window right here. So we're gonna start on the hair first and we want to go to the second tool, which is this one right here. And once you've got yourself the second tool, make sure that your mouse cursor or area is, let's say around 60 pixels, something like this. And we're gonna start on this side right here. And then you just simply want to left click, drag this out, and stay on the edge of the hair. And as you can see, it is starting to refine the hair. This will bring back some of the hair fibers and it will also remove the background to some of the gaps. We're also going to use the polygonal lasso tool, which is the one right here. And we're going to hold Alt, left click on here and just remove the section right here since we don't really need it. Once you've got yourself the hair refined, we also want to press K on our keyboard and this is going to give us a plain black and white preview and this is just going to make it easier for us to see any areas, for example, this bit right here, which we need to remove. So to remove those areas, we're going to use the third tool, which is the regular brush tool. From here, we're going to hold Alt and this will swap on over to the minus and then you just want to left click. And you can let go of Alt and just remove this soft area right here, which we don't really need. Same goes for this hair bit right at the top. And you just want to keep on refining any areas on the hair. If you want to go back to the normal preview, you just press V and this will give you the normal preview. Now the ear is also cut off. So we can bring this back by using the polygonal lasso tool and then just simply bringing back this missing piece of the ear.
You can then move on to the next thing, which is of course to scroll further down onto the left panel. You will have one more option which will impact the hair. So for example, if we zoom into this area right here, you can still see some of the areas which are a little bit more white. And what we can do is if we go over to the decontaminate colors and then left click on here, this is going to give us the option to remove that color fringe. So if we move the slider over to the right side, you can see that this will start to make the edges more solid and it will also fill them in with the correct color. Now, this is all great, but sometimes if you have too much of it, you can see that it's starting to damage some of the hair, as you can see right here. So what you want to do is you want to find the perfect balance to something like 50% where you still have the color fringe removed, but you also have the natural hair without it being pixelated. So now all you have to do is just simply go down to output two, and then in here, you want to set it to a new layer with layer mask. What this will do is, of course, when you go ahead and press OK, it's going to give you a layer with the mask right here. Everything looks great. We can now get ourselves another background if we want to. So, for example, let's say we're going to add ourselves this background right here. You can just simply drag and drop it, scale it up a little bit by holding Alt, double left click to apply, and we're going to move this one underneath this image. And as you can see, everything looks amazing. Now, at the moment, it's not exactly perfect because the color tones are completely different. 